I have a love-hate relationship with food in terms of diet. Sometimes I get it right, but most of the time, I get it very, very wrong. LCIF stands for Low Carb Intermittent Fasting. To understand it better, we break it down into two. Let's start with intermittent fasting. In layman terms, it's setting a fasting time and a feasting time to control the quantity of what you eat. Insert low carb, it would indicate that you should only eat foods that are low in carbohydrates to control the quality of what you eat. So this diet would actually target both quality and quantity. What exactly can you eat on an LCIF diet? I continue to use Google for finding the answers, as most of you would probably do. And it would indicate that low-carb foods would include lean meats, such as sirloin, chicken breast, or pork, fish, eggs, leafy green veggies, cauliflower, and broccoli, nuts and seeds, including nut butter, oils, and some fruit. I will link all of the articles in the description so you could take a look at that if you're much more interested in reading than listening to me. And basically, this would be a guide of what you can eat. I would say that this is enough variety, at least for me. At this point, we should be well acquainted with the what, why, and how of this challenge. The next step is to set appropriate goals. For me, it's just to lose weight. But it's kind of vague. How do I exactly set up an objective system with the numbers and all? And how will I be able to tell if the numbers that I'm trying to hit are even reasonable or medically safe for me to hit, if you know what I mean? Well, research, of course. I know it's a lot of work, but don't worry. I will share my thought process so you don't have to figure these things out on your own. And it would definitely make the next minutes of this video more meaningful. So stay tuned articles later, I've figured out that BMI or body mass index, while not the most accurate measure of how healthy a person is, it's definitely a good starting point for beginners like myself. Now, a disclaimer, what would follow is a lot, and I mean a lot, of information. It will be a pain, but trust me, it will make everything more sensible as you progress through the video. So get your brain cells ready. If we are to set a goal, then we would need to understand where we are at currently. And as for BMI, it's easiest to show the formula when explaining it. The formula is your weight in kilograms divided by your weight in meters squared. And the resulting number would actually give you an idea if you're underweight normal weight, overweight, or borderline obese. And of course, following what I said earlier, I have to know what my numbers are, what my current numbers are, to understand what I need to do to get to where I need to be. I am 5'4", can't do anything about that, but this is something that I can do about. My weight, I'm currently 163 pounds or 74 kilograms as of the making of this video, which would give me a BMI of 28 and as per the parameters, I am overweight. Since my goal is to lose weight, I have to know how much weight loss is considered healthy. And as per this article, it's actually one to two pounds per week. And I've, I'm sorry, but here in the Philippines, we tend to use kilograms a bit more. So I had to do a quick Google search of the conversion. Basically, one kilogram is equal to 2.2 pounds. So if that's the case, then 8.8 .8 pounds or around four kilos, three to four kilos a month is a good target for me. Now that I have an idea as to how much weight I should be losing in a month, it's now time to determine what BMI should I have at the end of the month. You could go back to that scale that I showed earlier, but basically the normal weight range is around 18.5 to 24.9. And being the nerd that I am, 
I added the two and got the average of it, which would give me 21.7 of BMI. So right in the middle. Now, this is where we could actually differ. But for me, this is the goal that I want to set. If you just want to set 24.9, that's fine. But for me, I want to be at dead center. So that's 21.7. Going back to that BMI calculator earlier, through countless trial and error, I have figured out that 126 pounds would give me the closest result to what I want. But I can't actually achieve this in just a month. So I'm looking at by the end of 2020, I would be 126 pounds. And this is how I plan to do it. Keeping in mind my long-term goal of 126 pounds and the BMI of 21.6, I decided to break down the rest of 2020 so I could accomplish or rather establish short-term goals. And this is also for me to have an interim way of checking if I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. This video was made towards the end of July, so I would start with August, putting in my weight goals here as well as BMI. So this would be my goal at the end of the month, the numbers that you would be seeing. Values in pounds and kilograms would be put so that everyone is happy. And if you would remember, earlier we actually researched about how much weight loss is healthy, which is around one to two pounds a week or a kilogram a week, which would translate to around three to four um, kilograms in a month. So that would be my goal. And as you can see, the numbers are reflecting that. And of course, as a source of motivation, I would treat myself to a cheat meal if and only if I would meet my goal. And that's not even the monthly. I would weigh myself on a weekly basis. If I meet my weekly goal, then I'll treat myself to a cheat meal. So yes, the numbers you're seeing right now, since they're monthly, I would break them down in my notebook and see if I would meet them on a weekly basis. So that's how you get specific with what you want to achieve. And by October, I'm expecting that I'll be at normal weight according to BMI. Not bad. The video of me taking the challenge is going to be released in about a month. I know, I'm sorry for making you wait that long, but I promise it would be worth it, it would be insightful. And I hope this video answered most of the questions that you've had about LCIF. Now please do not treat this as a replacement for professional medical advice. I just worked with what I was able to find in the internet and of course, consult your doctor before starting any diet. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, please put them in the comments. I'll try to reply to them as soon as I can. Have a great day.